राइट फ्रॉम माई चाइल्ड हुड आई हर्ड दैट यू नो इफ यू डार्क यू शुड नॉट गो अंडर द सन क्योंकि और काली हो जाएगी है ना दे वॉज an uncle of mine who actually very seriously told me oh you know what but she will ask you these questions at one point and she'll ask you why you're a single mother and you know you'll have to be prepared about it i'm like uh um, you know what she's already asked me whenever we play urban characters they say ma'am you thoda up market character hai do shade light kar de but then there were other multiple reasons why i walked out of the show there were actually rape jokes also being cracked Hello everyone. Recently I spent a lot of time thinking how do I introduce my guest today? Then I thought of one word and I think it perfectly describes her. It is an artist. Her work has not only been celebrated in India but across several international platforms. Welcome Tanishtha to Pinkwilla special women's day edition Woman Up. Thanks so much. Thanks Avinash. Our industry has unfortunately many notions that we deal with one of the notions is or one of the stereotypes is that we have this obsession with fair skin and you have been someone who's really gone out and spoken about it even in the past when you still hear this uh, tanishtha especially a topic which has been discussed widely in the recent past how do you react to it i think it's there in society which is why it's there in the film industry and uh, uh yes i mean i did walk out of that one show which i thought was like extremely regressive um you know i couldn't believe it happened in 2016 that <laughs> i have to still sit and uh hear jokes which actually reinforce prejudices so when i walked out of that show a lot of people said uh, some people said like you know i got a lot of support but some people said oh you know but it was a roast they she couldn't take a joke on herself and like that is exactly the point you're missing the joke was not on me if the joke was on me i would have laughed the joke is on reinforcing a prejudice but then there were other multiple reasons why i walked out of the show there were actually rape jokes also being cracked mm-hmm. and we had actually gone to uh, promote a film called parched which was a very fiercely feminist film True. and uh, i was uh, feeling very uncomfortable sitting there and uh, listening to uh, rape jokes mm-hmm. i just thought that you know yes i need to promote my film but i can't stoop down to that level that i was uh, uh, sit here and uh, listen to rape jokes exactly the reverse of what the film that i'm promoting and i stand for is all about you know that's the purpose of this conversation uh, tarishtha that you know we are talking about being sensitive towards these topics and uh, you know handling it with with care because uh, people and real life people are involved with this of course you can crack jokes about anything that's that's fine it's a, it's a joke right um but what is an interesting and actually a good joke that to me is the definition of satire and let's just go back to that the definition of vyang in hindi or or satire is that you crack a joke at something which has which is in a position of power which is a dominant factor in society not the discriminatory prejudiced factor in society that is called a bully it's not called a joke when you when you crack a joke on something which reinforces age old prejudices or you uh, or minorities or things like th- that it is called bullying it's not sure. called roasting it's not called satire you know sometimes we say film industry is the mirror of the society do you think if these norms about color if if it goes from the society it will reflect in the film industry as well of course i think that's the thing that is happening now like you know certain fairness creams and all they've been uh, we one one has talked about that okay they shouldn't exist they should be called okay at least it's, it we begin with saying that it can't be called fair and lovely it still is doing the same thing but i i thought that you know it's a good step at least at least you're acknowledging that there is a prejudice sure. right i think in my parents generation maybe there was no acknowledgement also that there is a prejudice it's okay right from my childhood i've heard that you know if you're dark you should not go under the sun kyunki aur kali ho jayegi hai na iska matlab you know my daughter is dark but i actually force her to go and play in the sun because it's healthy to do that otherwise she will grow up to be a vitamin d deficient child her bones are not going to be strong 
Absolutely. What sort of a mindset is that? So, what do you think can be done to improve these situations in the society? How can we make sure that uh, the awareness about uh, this issue reaches the most ground level? Education, definitely. I think schools and colleges and uh, schools. I think by the time you're in college, you're too deep ingrained in prejudice, mm. all kinds of prejudices. So, education begins in school. So, all kinds of discrimination. uh whether it's gender whether it's race whether all all these kinds of discrimination have to be uh sort of it has to be addressed in interesting stories like i can think nowadays i i i find very very interesting books for kids yeah which do not teach them that oh you do not discriminate but basically it is so mixed you know you see all kinds of uh racial representations body representations or gender representations family representations that they grow up to normalize these things sure absolutely and you know but you think are we getting there are we getting to that stage where uh, i am not too sure about you know I, i'm not too sure about smaller towns or you know the educational uh, the course and the syllabus there but i can see definitely in bigger schools and city schools and at least in the in the sort of atmosphere that my daughter is going to um there is a uh, there's a conscious awareness and uh, there are lots of things which absolutely didn't exist when i was a child uh, mm. is now being taught very differently so i think one aspect of it is that like i remember when i adopted my girl there was an uncle of mine who actually very seriously told me oh you know what but she will ask you these questions at one point and she'll ask you why you're a single mother and you know you'll have to be prepared about it i'm like um, you know what she's already asked me and there are many other examples like friends i have who are in the same situation and so i just tell her very normally there are all kinds of families that this this is a kind of a family this is a kind of a family and you have this these members and those people have those members and she say oh yeah okay that's all it's that simple you know like we discussed uh, schools are responsible enough you know should be responsible enough to inculcate these kind of information into the kids but it also starts from home right it also starts from parents i want to know tanishta as a mother how do you do that with your daughter i think i start with her because when she first came she also imagine a 3 year old also always thought that when i was bathing her well or giving her a nice massage she thought ki ye sab karne se wo gori ho jayegi <laughs> so i kept uh, just changing the uh, that language and just kept saying that nahi gore kaale se kuch nahi hota hai tum matlab tumhara skin soft ho jayega acha ho jayega tum healthy ho jaoge healthy you know so i replaced it and now that word has completely gone out of her vocabulary she had asked me once that what about you know why is it that i don't have a father and i said that yeah because there are different kinds of families and i showed her examples so because i have some friends who are single mothers that look even shivansh doesn't have a father you know so and so doesn't have a father so you know some people have you have grandparents you have me and she said yeah okay I think luckily your family structures have also become more interesting. True. He has a very beautiful yeah. book called Mulan which uh, where there's a there's a boy who's born mm-hmm. and when he's a child he doesn't know whether he wants to be a girl or a boy a bird or an animal a leaf or an ocean you okay. know it's like so she he is everything and when he goes to school the other kids make fun of him because mm-hmm. he can't decide and why can't he be everything and why can't he play hopscotch with the girls but he is he dresses up like a boy why so these are things that she doesn't question anymore tanisha you represented us like i said on many international platforms you've been a part of many international films i just wanted to understand from you tanisha have you ever faced this kind of a discrimination a discrimination based on color on films and platforms like that internationally no 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 do you think they are sensitive enough to respect that space yeah i think uh, there's a lot of talk about race it's a subtle thing in their society it's not that obvious mm. you know in our society it is still very obvious so the discrimination is i mean they are actually very aware of inclusivity you know to include and uh, artists definitely are i mean especially our generation artists are far more 
uh, I wouldn't even say sensitive, of course, sensitive, but they are uh, more inclusive. Uh, but we've heard of in- incidents, right? Even in the past, when somebody has faced uh, the problem of racism when they have been abroad. Come on, racism is still hugely there in society. What was the Black Lives Matter hashtag whole movement like? Even today's time, where so I, it's not that you know, and and through generations, there's always like an up and down, up and down. There's they, it, it becomes more liberal and then again it becomes more conservative and there's a backlash and uh, you know people again start uh, coming up with racist ideas and immigrants are this and of course of course it's there uh, but I would say that artists are in my experience they break boundaries I mean and that is true even in India at least the people I hang out with which is why I'm saying that that show for me was like a culture shock actually I was like sure. what? Like 2016, I can't believe it. I, I I really thought, I mean, I lived in a bubble because I had never faced it, you know. So I thought, oh, you know, that's a thing about my grandma's generation. This takes me to this next question. I'm going to post, quote Nandita Das. Yeah. She once said something which was very poignant and I thought I would like to take your reaction on it. She said, I have worked from the fringes in the industry and despite my best efforts, where I played either a Dalit or a village girl. But whenever it came to playing an urban character, it always meant adding more layers of makeup. Yeah, that is something that even I've heard. I mean, Nandita and I, we've discussed this also that whenever we play urban characters, they say, ma'am, you are a upmarket character in two shades. Light कर दे। I'm like uh, <laughs> like really? up market क्या है? नहीं 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 वो educated है और uh, मतलब शहर में रहती है। I'm like I'm educated. I've been brought up in big cities. You know I I spend my childhood abroad. I've been to like very good uh, private schools. I I've had a privileged upper middle class upbringing in India. Mm-hmm. And uh, why can't I represent uh, people like me? And I've I've heard this and Nandita and I we've discussed this this that notion which is why I think that it has it is related to caste system in our country that sure. aap brahmin ho ya aap caste ho to aap gore honge <laughs> aur aap dalit ho to and this is actually such a prejudice because I am Chatterjee I am aap caste. Hmm. Right, uh, and and someone once asked me that how come I'm like listen like isn't that like really ridiculous to think? Sure. And, and now I understood that where that hatred comes from, hmm. because it actually comes from the fact that we hate our sure. minorities, we hate our uh, uh, the castes who are not upper caste. Hmm. And anyone who looks like them in your mind is also hated. The celebrities have a fan following and people do believe yeah. what celebrities often say. Do you think celebrities should be more careful while selecting a I project? I don't know whether they believe because when, I mean, I don't know whether people believe what celebrities say. I think mm-hmm. it's very convenient sometimes that sometimes they want to believe what they are saying. And sure. then when a celebrity comes up and actually tries to break a prejudice, they mm-hmm. dismiss them as well. Sure. And they are, they, you, they troll them. Sure. And their fan fan following goes down. So exactly. I don't even know how serious that is, mm. right? Absolutely. That whether we actually believe celebrities, I I feel that the only role of artists is to is to show the mirror to the society through the stories. Mm. And I think stories are a beautiful way of actually showing the mirror, because it doesn't. You don't even know when it starts emotionally affecting in you, and you start thinking that, oh, I didn't think about it like this. Mm-hmm. You know, it can be as normal as that. Yeah, that person has a point of view. Everybody who's listening to this right now, I hope the point that we are trying to convey here gets conveyed, and people become more sensitive to topics like this. Tanisha, we have a second segment, and this is a more fun segment where we are gonna celebrate uh, some women achievers. It's a very small game. The game is called Knock Knock Who's There, where I'm gonna give you hints about a celebrated uh, female personality or a celebrated film, and uh, those clues are divided into three parts. So I'll give you the first clue, and then you have to try to guess the person or the film through that. If you can't, then I'll give you the second clue, and if you can't, then I give you the third one, and the clues will get simpler by each stage. Right. Right. Should we begin? Yeah. First clue, Tanishtha, is. Uh, this superstar actress had made her debut as a child artist at the age of four in a Tamil film. No, <laughs> second clue. Second clue. She was considered to be the first female stu- superstar of Indian cinema. 
first female superstar of Indian cinema in a Tamil very movie. very celebrated actress. Bajanti Mala. Ah uh, no. Hema Malini. No. Should I give you the third clue? Okay. She was married to a film producer and her daughter is an actress too. Shri Devi. Yes. Shri <laughs> Devi. Yeah. Next one. This film had released in 2001 and had backed four national awards. Lagan? No. It's a female centric film. Okay. Second clue. Second clue is the director of this film has also made a film on the modeling world. Okay. Um uh, page 3. No. I think before page 3. This this film. Chandniwar. <laughs> yes, it is Chandniwar. <laughs> Next one now this is a sports personality the clue number 1 is a former world number 1 this badminton player has won over 24 international titles prakash padukon and uh, deepika padukon no 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 again a female so uh, uh, okay a badminton player yeah listen i wouldn't know because no? i'm not too much into badminton i wouldn't know too many names can i give you the last clue just to see if, if it works out You won't. I know it won't. We a film on her life is being made with Pariniti Chopra playing the lead. I really don't know. Yeah, that's what oh. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Saina Nehwal. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know that she's making a film on her. Next one. Ah, uh, this achiever is a popular American actress, author, and a philanthropist. Actress who's I mean there are quite a few. Okay, second one. She's often called the queen of all media. Julia Roberts. No. Her I'll give you the last one. She is a very popular talk show host, which ran and a oh, show host for twenty five years. Yes, it is Oprah. I love her. I'm obsessed oh, by her. Yeah, She's yeah, such yeah. an inspiring Fantastic. figure. Yes. The last one. This British actress is popularly known for playing an important role in James Bond films. British actress. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Judi Dench. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think this was simple. I was nominated with her, so. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. You, uh, I think. And Judy Dench and Anne Hathaway, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, lovely, lovely. Thank you so much, Tanishtha. I just want to say, uh, Tanishtha, uh, you know, you're special, you're important, and uh, thank you for inspiring everyone out there. This was a thank really, really so nice. Thank you so much, Tanishtha. Thanks.